share this channel on the internet. Welcome back to another awesome adventure here at the Bahamas in our mini series of our four day living in a 48 foot bally sailboat catamaran brought to you by Navagari Yachting and Fresco Channel. And our mission today is to go fishing and find some food because yesterday the kids were not lucky. Good morning everybody. This is day number two. No, look at that, look at that. He just woke up. He don't want to be a camera. Cloudy today, but we're gonna make the best of it. Look at that, I love this. Look at that. Let's go. Where did you go? I guess let's open up this thing here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mm. Wow. Look at that. Wow. It's gonna be a good day. A good day. So. Let's go check it out. All right, go on. What? The kids left? Oh my goodness. Look at this. The kids don't left on the thing already. Good morning, people. Good morning. Everybody's up early. <laughs> oh my gosh, look what we have here. Wow. We're, we're gonna get a few we're gonna get a few pounds out of this trip. <laughs> wow, look at this. Oh, this is what you call breakfast with a view. You can also enjoy this life with this view by clicking on the link on the description below with Navagari. Yachty. They could make it happen. And their selling catamarans could handle one all the way up to 12 people. And we're planning to do this again in March. So if you guys want to come along with us on your own Navagari selling catamaran, let us know on the comments. We will be posting the dates pretty soon. See the hundred fishes you guys caught again you guys suck in miami and you guys suck here this is like the number one fishing capital of the world and you guys catch no fish you can't catch a fish because you don't know how to fish <laughs> again no fish like two grunts and that's it. Grunts? Grunts y'all Came to the Bahamas to catch grunts. <laughs> <laughs> that's unbelievable. Two little grunts like the size of my hand. Oh my gosh. Look at that food. Ooh, I gotta try it. Oh my God. God. Look at this. They look like lions waiting for the food. Lions waiting for food. Hold on, hold on. And look at that. Well, this is like an artwork. Yeah. Wow. With Gabby. Tomorrow hooked it up. Yeah, she's an artist. I call me Okay, okay. <laughs> MD. How was your food? It was really good. Compliments to the chef tomorrow over there. We're taking her back to Miami. We're kidnapper. How was your food? What? It was horrible, man. I threw it all away. <laughs> you threw it all away. I've seen it. I've and, seen it. Yeah, in this trash bin right there. <laughs> Gabby, did you like it? I'm going to show you something that I think it makes this boat an awesome selling vessel, especially if you like being outside. The whole back opens up like a garage door, letting all the sea breeze in and making the ride more enjoyable, especially on the winter season. There you have it, being inside but getting the outside feel. And well, we're picking up anchor and leaving Hope Town and heading out to Open Ocean to begin our hunt because we are determined to catch our own lunch today. Because if I'm planning to stay a few days out in the water, you have to figure out how to catch fish and survive. 
And this morning, Marquise, our captain, gave us a choice. Do we want to get down at the lighthouse and go to the top and sightsee around town? Or go out in the hunt and catch our own fish? And we decided we want to catch our own fish. So maybe next time we'll visit the lighthouse, but not today. Because we are on a mission. Top secret mission. And I would like to say welcome to the new subscribers. And if this is your first time visiting or watching our video, make sure to subscribe for more fun in the sun and family adventures. And if you want to keep up with our daily activity, make sure to follow us on Instagram. Abaco Bahamas is a cluster of islands. Some are big, some are small and they have a local ferry service to get to them and we saw that some of the small islands new homes were being built and something that bahamas is known for and is very true is the crystal clear waters but today is really windy and choppy affecting the clarity of the water also where did you say the boat was Okay, so we meant what we said. We came to the Bahamas to do a survival weekend to catch our own food. And here we go. Hopefully they get lucky and catch some lobster. Show me you can do it. Show, do it, Look at that right there, boy. Look at that. Look at that. Right there. Woo! Bahamian, boy. Right there. Got him. Got him. There we go. How uh, was it? How was that Bahamian water? Good. A little bit cold. A little bit cold or a lot cold? A little bit cold. How many you saw down there? Oh, uh, we saw like, we caught all the ones that were keepers and then the little ones we let, we let go. Oh, okay. So, uh, showing the secrets of the Bahamas. Shh, don't tell me. Let's go to the Popped out of the water, a mermaid. Woo! <laughs> Girl, let me touch it, let me touch it. Boy, you're on fire. You ready for some pictures? Yeah. And where are we at? I don't know, we're somewhere in the Bahamas. I don't even know where we're at now. So, uh, we're off this island here, hanging out. The guys are over there. Doing some more uh, lobster, I guess. What happened? We having lunch or what? No, we all gonna starve today. Oh my gosh! No. This guy couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Don't worry, we got something to show you though. I see a big something. I see a big something. I see a big something. What is that? A, a gray? What is that? A gray snapper? Oh, I see a warm gray snapper. 
Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We're eating fresh lobster today. Bahamas look good on you, girl. Oh, wait, 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 what you got? All of our collection. collection. Ooh. Wow. So while we wait for Samara to prepare our freshly caught lobster for our lunch, that Joel and Marquise caught because Fresco talked a lot, but he didn't go in because he was afraid of the cold water. And meanwhile, I was working the camera like I'm doing now with Oguita taking some pictures. Okay, now for the picture section, because it was up to Ogita, we spent the whole day up here. And me, I'm looking forward to eat some of that fresh lobster. Wow, look at that, look, the meat's still moving, it's so fresh. Yup, well it's gonna be a good lunch today. Oh, we got the artist, again. She's doing some more artwork. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was uh, the belt, <laughs> the, the dinner belt. That looks like a, we're, we're, we're at a six star restaurant. Forget five, we got six. This is literally just caught about 15, 20 minutes ago. Talk about fresh. Okay, here we got Samira, the best chef in the Bahamas. Look at this. Look at that. Woo! That's what you call artwork. Amazing. Look, they only come when it's food. That's the only time they got out of the cabin. Well, there you go, guys. Our first mission is complete. We made it to the Bahamas, and we're eating fresh caught lobster right off the side of the boat. And luckily, we got such an awesome chef that she could prepare anything. This is like two dreams in one because I want to travel the world on a catamaran and catch our food while we're exploring new places. And my dream became reality this weekend. And a question I received from the, from the first video was, why do I want to explore the world in a catamaran? not a v-bottle and the answer is simple the catamaran is much more stable than a v-bottle also have less drag and more ample space in the rooms if you were to compare two same size vessels but there is two types of catamarans one is a sailing cat and the other one is a power cat that the power cat cruises at a higher speed but tends to waste double the fuel and really once i think you're on the water you don't really care if you're going to get there 20 minutes faster or 20 minutes slower and well, this trip is turning out better than I expected. And this is only the beginning of the second day. And well, we could check one of the items off the list, fresh lobster. Now we have to catch fresh fish. But I think we could do it because right now it's only one o'clock in the afternoon and we got the rest of the day to go. So don't go anywhere because we got more fun in the sun at the Bahamas coming up. Because from here, we headed over to Guana Key to go visit their beautiful white sand beach. And we're going to check out a popular tiki bar. And all those videos are coming up. And I'll be posting them as soon as I finish with their edit. So keep your eyes open on the notifications. We got Jack Hustov and the crew going to another mission. Hey, <laughs> we're going to... Uh... What is it? It is Jack Cousteau, right? Yeah, Jack Cousteau. <laughs> Yo, we need about 12 snappers. 12 snappers? Yep. 12 snappers. I don't know how to count, so I don't know if we're going to be able to make it. And for those people that are interested in doing a Navigari yachting experience, well, they have 11 locations around the world. And I want to leave that link on the description below.